Hey guys, Silent CL here. So, um, this is the first vlog I'm doing. Uh, as you apparently can tell, I'm actually vlogging for the Kingdom Hearts concert that was on Saturday, uh, which is uh, four days ago now. Um, I actually did a different intro back then, but um, certain things happened, so I had to change the fun portion of the intro. Yeah, as you can see, I'm very, very rugged. I have not shaved in days. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm quite excited to show you guys my experience for the Kingdom Hearts World Tour concert that happened four days ago. Uh, it was on a Saturday uh, last week. Uh, and it's held in Singapore at the Esplanade uh, Theatres. So I managed to catch the first day uh, concert and... Uh, well, you just have to see the next few parts uh, what I actually say about the concert itself. So yeah, I, I do apologize for the late delay. Uh, as I told you guys, I would do a video for my thoughts on the Kingdom Hearts concert. Uh, yeah, so here it is. So enjoy the video guys. Hey guys, Silent CL here. So um, today is the day for the King Kingdom Hearts World Tour concert here in Singapore in Esplanade. Uh, I'm actually on the first day itself. Uh, luckily for myself, I managed to get a ticket. Um, as you can see, I'm quite rugged. I'm sorry, I didn't shave. <laughs> uh, quite rushed a day. Um, actually, before this, I was at another um, convention at the Suntec City Convention Halls where they were having an anime doujin event. So, dojima. Uh, yeah, so um, if you guys are interested to see what kind of anime events we have in Singapore, do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll probably might vlog for future events such as those. Uh, but as for today, um, touching up on the main topic for Kingdom Hearts on my side, uh, as you can see, I'm a big fan. Um, actually, I'm here with my charity. So yeah, charity. Uh, not many people recognize this because uh, apparently not many people in Singapore know about the game for the mobile phone. So yeah, I was quite shocked to see that not many people recognize charity here. Uh, I do have some glances here and there, uh, but uh, not as many as I thought. So yeah, um, uh, I'll probably leave a video, another portion of the video uh, about the merchandise that is available. Uh, it's the same every country that the world tour is in. Uh, it's just that the pricing is a bit steep. Mm, so this time round, I didn't really quite prepare enough money, uh, but I did manage to get some of the essentials that I would love to have in my collection. Uh, sadly to say, I didn't buy the conductor's keyblade. Um, so yeah, that's uh, hopefully mm, I'll be able to. Um, find means to get it in the future. Uh, well, there is an online store for the event uh, at this point of time. So uh, it's only for two days though that the online purchasing can be done. If not, mm, you won't get it unless you buy it from resellers. It's just gonna be a pricey thing. Hmm. So okay, I'm gonna show you guys what we have. Uh, I'll see you guys in a while. Hi guys, so I'm in line uh, queuing up for the merchandise. So here are the items in the showcase. The key blade, uh, conductor's key blade is really cool, but sadly to say it's quite pricey, so I won't be getting it. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I get later on after the concert. Sorry, short size is best. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> one, two, one, one. Yeah. All right, guys. So these are what I have purchased from the event itself. So the main thing is actually the CD soundtrack, which has a very very cool cover of Sora and the Conductor's Keyblade. Uh, sadly to say, I did not buy the Conductor's Keyblade because it was $75 in Singapore dollars. Uh, it was kind of steep and I would definitely love to have it but sadly to say, I am financially tight at this point of time. So I'll find means to get it eventually. Um, now the soundtrack here does have uh, it doesn't have the listing of songs inside so i probably have to open it up to show you guys in a while uh, meanwhile let's take a look at the concert program book so this thing i heard from the um, the staff selling it uh, it was actually bilingual uh, it had both japanese and english inside and i love the hardcover print as you can see it's printed very nicely very very wonderful i'll definitely have to get this jacket uh, to protect it uh, in the future so let's take a look inside uh, it's a very cool oh this this the material is fantastic though so yeah shinji Hachim uh, hashimoto 
<laughs> a very cute signature there. Uh, the paper quality is fantastic. It feels like uh, yeah, those projector type uh, material plastic. Um, yeah, so this is definitely something worth keeping because it won't damage easily. It's not like standard A4 paper. So as you can see, it has English text in it. So yeah, so the interview with uh, Yoko, Shima, uh, Yoko Shimamura. Fantastic, something definitely worth reading about how she came up with the music for Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah, and all that. So, the people involved as well. Very, very cool. Mark Waters. So, I definitely won't show you guys everything in the book because I think that's what the book is for. Uh, it's a premium, definitely worth keeping and buying it for yourself uh, as a collector. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later again, uh, closer to the end of the concert and I'll tell you my impressions of the concert itself. So yeah. Okay guys, so I kind of forgot that I wanted to show you <laughs> the CD album itself. So yeah, this is the, the, the boxing of the CD cover, very nicely done, very awesomely printed. Okay, so we're gonna remove the casing see there we go so the actual casing for the, the CD album so the familiar logos of the Kingdom Hearts series and of course a very nice booklet about what's inside the CD itself so let's take a look at the CD there we go so there's a signature as well by uh, Yoko Shimamura so yeah very nice Okay, so what's inside the soundtrack here? I'm not too sure whether it's the same thing that we'll probably listen later in the concert but as you can see, this is the soundtrack list inside the album. Yeah. So, more interviews with Yoko Shino, uh, Shimomura. It's also translated from Japanese and English. There we go. So yeah. And of course, crediting to whoever uh, produced this thing and all the Kingdom Hearts logos involved, including Unchained Key, uh, or rather Union Cross now. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Alright, so I'll see you guys later at the end of the concert. Alright guys, so there is one last item that I had to include into the video. Originally, I only bought the uh, concert program booklet and of course the CD album for the concert itself. So the, there is a, a story behind the conductor's keyblade. <laughs> um, I actually went back on Sunday for to purchase this thing so I had to ask the uh, staff and the security whether they would allow me to go back into the theater premises to purchase this item. Uh, there was a means of getting it online uh, because the online store for the concert was would only be available for the two days of uh, two days that the concerts were being held in Singapore. Uh, after that, the online store will be closed for purchase. So I didn't buy it online because uh, the the shipping period would take forever. <laughs> to come in it'll take roughly about two to three weeks so even though the shipping was free but you had to pay in US dollars the conversion rate was still a bit more expensive than if I were to buy the item in the concert premises in my country so well I took a chance I went back to Esplanade and asked them whether they would allow me to go back in to purchase it and gladly enough they, they did so that's why I have this in my hands right now so I'm going to show you guys what it will look like if you're wondering what kind of quality the conductor's keyblade will be so this is the box itself it's really long um, the text here is in Japanese and there's a bit of English as well uh, well, but mostly in Japanese though. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open up the box to show you guys what it is. So this is the conductor's keyblade. Uh, if you're wondering how big of a comparison it is, just give me a sec. Let me grab something to let you uh, compare. All right, so this is a Japanese uh, 3DS LL or rather the English version they'll call it a 3DS XL so this is the length in comparison to it so it's like two 3DS in length yeah so as you can see it doesn't come with 
the acrylic casing as uh, I showed you in the earlier portion of the video. Uh, it only comes with an acrylic stand to hold the keyblade. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna take a look at the wand itself. Uh, it's really solid plastic. Um, it's flexible, slightly flexible so that a conductor can use it to conduct an orchestra. And here we go. So let me try and focus it in. So as you can see, I can't really see. Focus, god dang it. <laughs> okay, so um, let me try and focus in on the item itself. There we go. So here you can see the quality and the, the workmanship of the keyblade itself. So the hilt is the most important. As you can see the details of the hilt. Fantastic job. So yeah, um, as I have mentioned on some of the Facebook uh, pages or even the Kingdom Hearts uh, PlayStation 4 communities, the paint job for this conductor's wand is as good as a uh, uh, Play Arts Kai figuring. So if you're a bit worried of the quality, you will definitely be not, uh, not be disappointed with purchasing this. Although it is a bit steep in price, but I guarantee you for a collector like your, uh, me, myself, um, this is definitely an item worth getting. Sadly, it doesn't come with the, the keychain, but of course it's a conductor's wand, so it's a bit of a hindrance if they have the keychain on the keyblade itself. <laughs> Alright, so let me plug this out to show you guys what it'll look like as a fully set up stand. So the acrylic pieces snap in quite uh, decently, um, not too loose, not too tight as well. So yeah, okay, so there we go. So this is basically it, what you're paying for. Um, let me try and focus in on the item, there we go. So yeah, that's about it. Um, of course, if you'd like, love to get it, um, I would say, a bit more classy, you can always build a custom acrylic base. So sadly to say, I can't show you guys the logo, but let me see if I can focus in on it. Yeah, so it does say Kingdom Hearts Orchestra World Tour on the acrylic base. So yeah, okay. Um, that's about it for the items that I purchased. Hey guys, so um, the concert just ended and I'm lost for words because it's so orgasmic to the ears. Um, I I can't I can't put words to how I express uh, to express myself how happy I am about the concert. Um, if you have the concert within your country, I totally recommend you going to see the concert itself. Uh, it's it's totally worth the money because. They covered most of the soundtrack through all the games, including Union Cross uh, or Unchained Key, if you guys had played it on the PC or even on the mobile phone before it became Union Cross. Um, it's, I, I really have no words to say uh, how happy I am about the selection of songs um, that are in this concert itself. And the ending part of the concert gave me a total shock. Because Yoko Shimomura came out to play the piano herself. It's it's totally astounding. <laughs> so yeah, um, I highly recommend if you guys have the concert. Uh, I think there's about two or three more uh, in other countries. I recommend you to go pick up a ticket and watch the concert yourself and fill up yourself with the nostalgia of Kingdom Hearts. It's, it gave me goosebumps throughout the entire concert and I have nothing else to say but I am totally glad to attend this concert as a Kingdom Hearts fan and I hope you guys enjoy the concert too if you guys are attending, if you guys aren't well, it's time to wait for the next Kingdom Hearts World Tour uh, once Kingdom Hearts 3 is released or who knows, uh, maybe down the line of another 5 years or so maybe they plan another one after all, Disney is investing in Kingdom Hearts greatly this time round and mm, um, well, um, after the concert, most people actually recognize Charity now <laughs> because they showed clips of uh, Union Cross and yeah uh, I'll catch you guys next time in my next video, bye!